Hello, people of the internet. My name is Leo, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. Now we're gonna play Demon Tower again. I know. You're all sick of this by now, I bet. But hey, let, let's do it. Exciting things are happening. Uh, we're in a church. But, asides from that, I am now on my spring break. Which, that is very exciting for me, at least. Crap. And... It just means it's gonna be an overall good time. Oh, did you just attack each other? Man, you're not good teammates. Anyway, it's spring break, which means more free time, and I'm gonna enjoy that while I can. And, oh crap, uh, how dare you? Are you... That guy literally almost killed me. Oh, but hey, look what it is. It is the, uh, boss room. I can't remember if we actually saw the boss yet, but... Oh, not you! Uh, looks like he killed himself, but... Yeah. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm out of health. Okay. Okay, they all killed themselves, and I killed that one, so... It's fine. It's fine. And... done. <laughs> Not gonna say what I was about to say, because that's bad luck. So say you're actually good at something. Anyway, I found out that there are actually only ten levels in this thing. Ten. Bitch. Okay. Ten's alright. It is an okay number. I hope to attract one at a time so that I don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, there we go. So let's see what this boss is. Oh, I remember you now. I have seen you. I just needed to be reminded of you. Crap, how do I do this? I never actually figured out the solution. The sort of pattern he follows. I just know that he spits fire and he has a bunch of ghosts that cannot die. Like the other ghosts in here, you can kill them, but this one you can't. Which only makes it that much harder. What? Are you kidding me? Did I really just walk into the... Fatigue? Uh, okay, I need to stop just complaining about this game every time I play it. I need to do something actually intelligent. Uh, something that's fun to watch. I'm not a fun person, though, so... You know, we're Witch Dagger. Or at least I think we're Witch Dagger. From the look of things. I believe we're Witch Dagger, so... Let's try to act more like Witch Dagger. You know? This old witch that has a dagger. Actually, that would make sense why May's a fan of Witch Dagger, if Witch Dagger is a character of this. Whatever. Let us assume the role of Witch Dagger. I crawl through the church. There are three dudes wearing red robes. They must be priests or something. I don't really like them that much. I'm gonna kill them. Okay. I face the boss, who is a pope or something. This is really religious. I don't like it that much. Eh. Alright. Okay. No. Get away. Get away. Get away. I will not tolerate this. I wish I could hit him with the ghosts. That would be neat if I could hit the ghosts into him. Oh, sorry. Uh, man, I do not know how to kill this guy. It's really, really upsetting me. No, I die. 
And that is the end of my story. But then I go back to church the next Sunday, and all is well. Alright. Skeletons line the hallways. The victims of the Crusades. Church sucks. They kill people. Then again, I guess I'm no better. Actually, I am better. I kill the dead. Ow. And the dead also kill me, but that's not as important to the story at large. My health is made of an eternal fire that can never be quenched until the flames of evil have been quenched as well. Every level, there is a boss that I draw my power from. My sources of power. My, I don't know, bosses or something. They're, they're real jerks, just like your bosses. They really are. Ow. But so are all of the co-workers that are here as well. Everyone's a jerk. Everyone deserves to die, and that's why I kill them. It's a simple life, really. The only problem is, it hurts. I face off against two more red-robed priest dudes. Uh, they kill me, and they scream loudly into my ear, which hurts very much. <sighs> I sigh a sigh of sighness. And then I rise anew on the next Sunday. People throw fire. Their albums are that good. They just... They're spitting fire. They, they really are. They are legitimately spitting this fire. And then they themselves become flames. Because their fires too cannot be quenched. They're just like me. Restless. Wishing for just one more kill. But alas, they cannot be like me. I refuse to let them be. This is their final day. This is their end. I find a key, and it unlocks a door, but it also brings a bunch of red robe jerks. And they all come at me at once. I heal through the flames of the dead, and I attack this Pope dude once more. Ow, really? Re really? Uh, I am fatigued through all this fighting. Ow. I heal through pots that I can find around the room. Ow! I run straight into him. Not the best decision I've ever made. What the heck? I strike, but he dodges. And then I die. Alone. Forever. Clinging to the last hope thread I have. I cannot beat this pr church. And I die. To one of the little guys as well. It just proves that I suck. But one day, I will not suck. One day, I will rise the ranks and become one with the universe. That is, if I can ever figure out which way I need to go. Because this map is confusing. People throw spears at me. And I don't like it. Stop. One can't seem to realize that we exist on two different planes, but he kills me anyway. Well, doesn't kill, but you know what I mean. He gravely injures me, and I must seek food. Then another one shows up, and I'm like, oh crap, I'm, I'm totes dead. <laughs> one does a moonwalk. And I'm impressed. But not impressed enough to keep me from slaying him. 
Boom. A shield will not protect you from my strikes. I strike the very soul. You have no chance. More spears. More pain. Sabotage as enemies strike themselves down. They lose their heads. But then they don't die. They're really weird. I wish they'd stop. More robed dudes. And I'm dead. Another Sunday down the drain. I really hate the red robed dudes. They're very loud. If I was their roommate, I would totally lodge a complaint. I'm gonna kill myself because I hate these fire dudes. Boom. I end my own suffering. Only to lessen it later. Oh, but crap. There's one of these guys anyway. It was all for naught. For basically the exact same situation greets me again. But this time, I'm a little bit better at this. There are ghosts that boo at me. And they make me tired. I want to nap. But I can't. Ow. The spears are the worst. Like, literally. Their lunge. It's greater than my lunge. They can kill me before I can hit them. I find it unfair, but... Such is the way of the world. Such is the way of the world. I find myself momentarily unable to teleport. I strike in the wrong direction. And I start to lose hope. And then I realize... Hey. My life isn't that bad. And then I get hit twice. And life sucks again. Such is life. It goes good for you some days. Other days, not. Even other days, you just want to lay down and cry. And that can go along with some of the other days already listed. Okay. Only one this time. Ow. I still fail somehow. I, I I really am ashamed of myself. I don't know how I did so bad. Oh my god. I am so utterly horrible at my job. It's... Uh, it's... It's sad. It's depressing, really. It is every negative word known in the English language. But that's okay. Because I can rebuild... I can always rebuild. Okay. The Pope dude is very, very difficult with everything and I instantly die after doing a single hit to him. Uh, two hits, but it's not enough. This guy really is tough. How did I lose a life there? What did I do to lose a life? Did you see that? There was a health thingy there, but... I am disappointed in my ability and the abilities of others. I remember clearing out entire dungeons before. 
Now I can only go so far before failing miserably. I wonder where all of my skill has gone. Where my one hit KOs to bosses went. <laughs> I wonder. Will I ever beat this? Will I ever see the light of day again? Will I ever stop encountering these annoying fire enemies? The world may never know. Will I ever stop being an old person? Never. <coughs> More spears approach. And I find it annoying that they have three hit points. Ah. It saddens me. I kill the ridiculously easy enemy that looks like a Tonberry. I collect my key. And I prepare for inevitable failure yet again. I'm... Uh, are you... I, I miss everything. And I contemplate cutting. And then I move forward. Another Sunday lost. Another freaking loser to kill. Sigh. Woe is me. Skeletons come in different colors. Did you know that? I didn't. Blue are the worst, in my opinion. They're, they're just jerks. They're very fast. Well, not even fast. They're just there. They attack once, and they cover five times the distance of any others. Five times your own distance. They kill other enemies for you sometimes, but only sometimes. They're not all nice like that. The red-robed weirdos return. I kill them all without sustaining a single blow. And I feel slightly proud of myself. Ow. I wish there were healing potions. Like actual potions instead of just these flames that sit around. I wish there was a key you could use to heal every once in a while. Crap. Oh, what the heck was that? I don't know what that just was, but... I, I teleport through a flame and it makes a noise and I feel concerned oh wait I just realized Pope fire is this Rubello oh this is totally Rubello I face Rubello an idol to the people but to me he's just another jerk standing in my way Religion sucks, and I will have that opinion until the end of my days. I am here to prove it, to prove that I hate religion. I will prove it by slaying the leader, the leader of all, Pope Rubello. It is done. I stand over his corpse and lament. I have destroyed the hope of thousands, millions even. <sighs> and I enter the blood moat, and I almost instantly drown. Okay. There are people with arrows inside of them, tortured souls that obviously must have died. One of the spearmen drowns, and I find it funny. 
Is it wrong to wish death upon an enemy of yours? That's what they say to me in religion. But I have already stated that I hate religion. I will hate my enemies forever, no matter what is said to me. And I forever will laugh when they suffer, for it is my way. They laugh when I suffer. Why can I not return the favor? Why can I not? I am surrounded. They are everywhere. I don't know where to go. I just know I don't like wherever it is I have to go. The knights follow me. So do the baby slime thingies. They all have the same goal in mind. Kill. I am so like my enemies. Am I an enemy to myself? Must I slay myself when this is all over if I truly want to say I defeated all of my demons? I will if I must. I think I just did it too early though. I am in a different moat. I can tell because there are more fire dudes. I go onto some spikes. I drown in the moat. I kill myself because I've messed up too many times. Another day passes. I should really stop killing myself once a day. It's really not good for my health. My colon must be in shambles right now. Ow. I find what I have been looking for. But is it what I truly want? I am injured. I have less health than ever before. I'm vulnerable. Especially since I apparently can't move all that well. This knight has fire. This knight is on my personal hate list. What? I trip. And it hurts a lot. I try to suck it up, but I just can't. I try to avoid all the fire, but it's literally impossible. Jesus Christ. Calm down. Oh god, no, 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 no. I am nearly dead. This task is proving difficult. I attempt to heal, but wounds can only be healed to such a point. More of the red guys have come. They're just the same. Just as jerkish as always. A fire dude approaches. I don't like him. Nor do I like any of the others. They're all jerks. I am nervous. 
I saw many of the red robed. I do not know how many chased me, or how many will chase me as I draw closer. All I know for certain is that I have made it to the boss, and I'm nervous. The boss is disturbing. Very disturbing. Oh god, are you serious? The floor the boss walks on is a code of death. I die. It becomes nearly impossible to survive. It already was nearly impossible just to get to him. But now, he is hard to defeat. Crap. It's my worst nightmare. A challenge. I, I die in a stupid way. Because my teleport did not get me over the moat, only straight into it. <sighs> oh god. Whoa. What are these things? I decide not to mess with the orange ones anymore. They're scary. Really scary. I'm gonna kill myself for that. That was absolutely stupid. Why do my teleports not protect me from damage like they're supposed to? That's how you're supposed to get over these. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> my adversary refuses to cross the blood moat. He knows what will happen to him. He is wise, but I still must kill him. Slime is gross. Slime babies are grosser. I am surrounded. And that gives my enemies an opportunity to totally wreck me. They take what they can get. Eh. Ow. I take damage, but it's okay. There's health right next to it. Are you kidding me? What the heck? I... This level is like impossible. How am I supposed to do this? I don't have any confidence in myself to do this. I think this is out of my realm. What the heck? I hate when I hit a button and it just doesn't work. That's my biggest pet peeve with games. Any game on any system, hit the button, it doesn't do what it's supposed to. Happens way too often to me. I convince an enemy to kill himself. Almost. He is now headless. I I take damage like an idiot. Cause seriously, how did I get hit? Okay, fine. Fine. These teleports. Ugh. I hate them. 
I'm dead again. I am so about to kill somebody for real. Uh, being Witch Dagger is suffering. End my suffering, please. Ah. Uh. The problem is not causing damage to the boss. Rather, it is getting to the boss while avoiding all of the other crap that's in the way. I open this, killing everybody instantly. What? It only killed the Tonberry instantly. What the heck? I feel cheated. <sighs> I wonder how many red robes are there to greet me. Are you kidding me? I don't know how to defeat these red robes. They're... Are you- Ah! That moat was placed so jerkishly, so, so jerkishly. Like, come on. You can't even hit them. And if you teleport over, they're gonna kill you. Great. The fire one. Of course. It's the fuck. Ah! I'm trying my hardest not to just scream. Like, literally scream. Wait, did I just start off with less than max health? My spirit is being broken, not just my body. My spirit is broken rather easily. Just like that. Just like that, I want to die. Not am going to, I want to. It is my wish. The only thing that could make me happy at this point is death. Ah. I really do think that I'm not going to be able to beat this this episode at least. Are you kidding me? What is this enemy placement? Oh, I What the? Ah. When you try your hardest but can't succeed in the most simple aspects of life. I am so done right now. Can I even get to the boss? Can I even get to the boss? No, I can't. Because I can't teleport! Is I hit the space bar and it doesn't teleport me! And then I hit the space bar and it doesn't teleport me correctly! I, I hit space bar more than once. That is the cue to... Hey! Move fast and stuff. It's... There are so many problems with this. I've like stopped caring at this point. Like, I want to get this done, I just can't. 
I just can't be bothered right now. That's how I feel. Uh. I've only made it to the boss once. Once. Does that say anything? Me dying so many times on this stage, but only once having actually seen the boss. The boss! I hate the fire. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you so much, fire guy. I still hate you, but a little bit less now. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm done either way at this point. Okay. I can't do this right now. I just can't. This, this is the end for me. I'm just going to take the hint that I'm not ready for this. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Demon Tower. If you did, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!